What's up, dudes? This is Boss Dog, from Boss Gaming. I'll be. This is a uh, for TTG, and this is a tutorial on not how only how to fix the Red Ring of Death that this console is suffering from, but also to stop all the topics in the JTAG discussion section about uh, my JTAG got uh, Red Ring of Death. What do I do? How do I fix it? What's the difference between reball slash reflow? All the stupid topics that have been answered for thousands of times. So the first thing is, uh, you turn on your console. This console does not have the red ring of death. It has, uh, you can see green lights pop up, but uh, there's uh, nothing on the screen. Also, uh, sometimes it does display on the screen. And sometimes it doesn't. It uh, constantly gets uh, frozen. Early signs of E74 and uh, other GPU failures. So, let's go ahead and turn off the console. This console uh, has been repaired before. It was previously brought to me, or you know, before it has been brought to me. Just uh, move the disk drive. This is access to the motherboard. I've taken off all the screws necessary to uh, get access to the motherboard. You can see that the console has had the bolt mod, heat sinks are just uh, crudely put back on. I'm doing this without a holder for my camera. I've uh, seen too much fun. Person has put bolts on the back. Not even washers between them. Now I'm just going to show you how to check the secondary error code. This determines whether your console needs to reball or reflow. Often, uh, which is described, uh, uh, people often say, "Oh, my JTAG got red ring. What do I do? How do I fix it?" And then people say, "Check the secondary error code." This uh, happens a lot. So the console does turn on on this unit, like I said, but if you were going to check the secondary error code, you hold down the eject button, lift up the sync button, and you can see the lights go around, but that wouldn't happen on a console. What would happen is lights would flash up, and it'd be red lights, and it'd be something like, you know, zero, which is four, four means zero, one light would be one, two lights would be two, three lights would be three. The most common is, would be zero, one, zero, two. It's one of the most common Xbox 360's error. Error. It's an error in the GPU, which is under this heat sink. Uh, it's usually fixed by a reflow. Sometimes it needs to be rebought. Re error code zero one zero two. Uh, just three red rings that go zero 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 zero, zero two. That's an unconfirmed error code. It's uh, just a GPU reflow. Uh, zero one one zero. Uh, zero 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 two zero can sometimes be a reflow. Sometimes it's a reball. But uh, most commonly, reballs are zero zero two two error code is usually a reball. Zero zero three two. Uh, zero zero one. Zero zero one zero. And uh, there's a few more, but. Most commonly, you just have uh, 0102, which is a reflow process, reflow state. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove, just remove the thermal pads. So being that this is just not showing up on the screen, and uh, just uh, freezing it sometimes, I've determined this console needs a, well, these are tight, so uh, Sorry, let me get this started. Uh, this console needs a, a reflow. Okay, you're gonna have to bear with me. I can't find my camera stand. The difference between a uh, reball and a reflow, like I will show you in just a second when I get these heat sinks off. Is on a reflow, you're removing, or on the reflow, you're uh, simply removing the heat sinks of the console. You are then cleaning both the chips, um, 
and then you're reflowing GPU in this case, which is applying an even amount of heat onto the chip, uh, which melts the BGA, or it doesn't melt the BGA, it's something to do with the BGA. But it, basically what happens is there's a solder joint on the back of these chips that uh, with the heat of the gameplay has gone bad, basically. It's called a cold solder joint. Sometimes they get cracks, um, other things like that. And what the bolt mod does that was done on this console is it squeezes that chip down, causing a connection between the chip and the board, making it work. But it could also make it worse by smashing the solder joint. Or it's also, uh, it's just, it doesn't work. You need to reflow the console properly. Apply even pressure. So you take the chip off. You can see the console has been repaired before. Cheap thermal compound. Also, the thermal compound has bled off into the other parts of the GPU. It should only be on the top part. This console did not reflow properly. So it's keeping a bad fix. Not on washers. Being that the CPU screws are a lot easier to remove. Just take a quick electric screw run to them. Yeah, just pull off the washers. Let's see, CPU. So, in reflow, which I'll be showing you in just a minute, to fix most errors of the room, we just reflow those solder balls underneath the chip. I know you can't see those, but so you're heating them up to the temperature of their melting point and melting back into place. On a reball, you'll take a stencil and you'll match it up. You'll take off this chip and you'll match it up to the... You'll clean the chip and clean the board from all that solder and you'll match it uh, up new solder onto the back of the chip and flow the balls on there to the chip and then apply the chip back down to the board and reflow the board too. Attaching the chip back down, making all the connections that you need. Uh, this process I'll be showing you is a reflow, fixes, like I said, most Xbox errors. Uh, next I'll be showing you how to clean the chip, but uh, first I'm going to lock the board in my uh, secure holding place to keep it still during reflow.